Hi. Part two. First, remove the cover to have unrestricted access to the inside of the aquarium. Then clean the glass inside the aquarium to remove any dust or particles with water only. Never use chemical cleaners, otherwise it can kill your fishes later. Then wipe off the excess water with clean cotton cloth. Next, since I plan to lay out air tubes inside the aquarium, I'll be using these suction cups to hold these air tubes inside the aquarium and to make the layout neat. I'll be sticking few of them inside the aquarium where I plan to lay out the air tubes later. First accessory I will be installing is this bubble wall LED. As the name implies, it will produce a wall of bubbles inside the aquarium. And since it has LEDs, it will be producing beautiful light inside the aquarium, which I will show later. The next accessory is more of a decoration, but since it will also produce bubbles, it will help in the aeration. Next is the pump for my top-mounted filter. As I mentioned, I will be using top-mounted filter for this aquarium. Top-mounted filters are one of the cheapest types of filter, but as effective as the expensive counterparts. I am just trying to ensure here that the pump is properly located on the side, but I will install the top filter later. Next basic accessory is this water heater which should be installed near the pump so that the heat will be properly distributed around the aquarium. Now it's time to lay out the air tubes inside the aquarium. Now I am preparing this extension cord where all the accessories will be plugged in later. Now time to fill up the aquarium with water. And now I will put in sand as my substrate. I already pre-rinsed this so that it will not make my aquarium cloudy as I put it inside. If you saw my previous videos, I am an advocate of sand substrate. For me, there are more advantages of having sand substrate compared to the gravel counterpart. It is one of the reasons why my aquariums look clean among other benefits of this kind of substrate. Now time to install the top mounted filter. But for this filter, I will not use it how it is typically used. Rather, I will use it like a sump wherein the first part of the filter will be mechanical filtration that's why I'm putting this fine foam on the first portion or chamber while the rest of the chamber I will reserve this for biological media I will be explaining on my next video why I prefer to do this on my top mounted filter Now it's time to put back the cover in place. To plug in all the power outlets of the accessories to the extension cord. Now you should install the thermometer on the opposite side of the heater. And as usual, an automatic feeder. I have shared a previous video before about how to not overfeed your fish. And on that video, I've shown that this equipment will help you 
do so. Now let's do function testing of all the accessories. All seems to be working fine and beautifully. It's amazing. And now just a review, I will show you again what we have completed so far. Actually I have more accessories to install inside this aquarium and I will show it on the next video which is part 3 of the series and I will explain there why I delayed the installation. In addition, it is always advised to wait for 3-4 to four weeks before adding new fishes in your aquarium. This is to allow beneficial bacteria to establish in your aquarium to make it safe for your fishes to stay there. But in my next video, I will show you the technique on how to instantly make your aquarium safe to add new fishes. So if you want to be notified on that next video and future videos to come, please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Again, thank you for watching. Until the end, God bless.